Hello there. So in today's video, I'll be going over the quick hack that I mentioned in the previous episode of how to use the question mark operator in the main function. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video or um, you don't remember, the reason why we can't just do this out of the box is because the main function is sort of special on what it can return. And so yeah, we have to sort of hack it accordingly. So to illustrate this, um, I'm going to bring back the idea that we had in the previous video. So from std, I'll import fs file. I'll create a variable called f, and I'll say file, and I'll try to open a file called hello.txt. Now, as we know, this will return a result. So we can use a question mark operator. This way, if we have an error, it returns. So it propagates outside of main. Now this is going to be a problem, which is displayed here. Can I use a question mark operator in a function that returns empty tool? Okay, so to fix this or sort of hack it, we'll import std, error, error. And once we have this, now what I'll do won't make much sense, but it's just in case you want to start using this um, in your code. And we'll get to the reason why this works in the future. But you'll create a res re return type of result. Um, well, this will be an empty tuple. And in here, we'll say box dyn error. Okay, now consider this as sort of every possible error for now. But yeah, once again, we'll, we'll get to why this works. Then, yeah, so if we get an error, now this will be fine. All we have to do, as we did previously with the question mark operator, is we say OK, and inside we have our empty tool. And yeah, this is the last expression, so it will be returned outside of main. We can go to our terminal, and we can cargo run. We should get an error because the file doesn't exist. And yeah, there we go. We're using question mark operator in main. Quick video, but I hope it helps you out. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.